What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Milkman. That's right, it's the Milkman, baby. And guess what? I'm your favorite DJ. I meant producer. Wait, I meant video editor. Wait, I meant engineer. Yeah, my bad. And today, we're going to be bringing you a brand new series. It's called Milkman Solutions. It's for all engineers, no matter what level you want, whether that's beginner, intermediate, or experts. We got tips and facts that are going to improve your game. Get ready to money this in your mix. Let your mids finally shine instead of being blocked out by all those crazy frequencies. And make sure your highs don't sound so harsh. We're going to teach you how to make your plugins work for you. We're going to teach you what hardware does. We're going to teach you how to become a great engineer. These are tips that I wish I would have had at any point in time and things that I continuously remind myself of so that I can make sure that I continue to get a good mix through and through. Yeah, man, I'm excited to bring this to you guys. A little bit about me. I'm going to give you some background. I reside in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been here 20 plus years, somewhere around that number. I studied at Georgia State University. I'm well versed in things like distribution, obviously management, record label operations and also you know i like to say i dibble and dabble with audio engineering i guess i'm being modest i need to stop doing that because y'all might tune out i've been engineering for eight years and uh, exclusively with pro tools for about four years now i was trained by one of the best engineers in the south known as de3 He's represented many clients from Johnny Cinco to uh, Jose Guapo, if I'm not mistaken, and many more. Uh, a lot of the scene that was popping here in Atlanta, he kind of helped influence that sound. And, uh, you know, we got many studios here. Uh, feel free to come check us out if you want to come to lock in with the Milkman exclusively. You can book a session through my site if you would like to. But we also have a great roster of engineers. Um, and you should definitely check us out whenever you get a chance. But I'm not going to talk y'all ear off, man. We're going to get started with this list. Make sure you stick around to the end, though, because this last point, it's really going to fuck you up if you don't get it right. <laughs> and it's the thing that's going to cost you a lot of money if you don't get correct. And by money, I also mean time. Time and money, you got to exchange one of the two. But uh, you definitely want to make sure you catch this last tip because it's going to be a game changer and it's gonna save you a lot of time and money. But starting off our Milkman solution list. Number one, we got learn the basics. What is signal flow? How do you set things up to be able to go from point A to point Z? How do I get this sound from this microphone out of that speaker? when I plug it in, you know what I mean? Amplitude, you need to be able to understand levels, work your way around what a DAW is, what is a monitor. There's so many different things to learn as an engineer that you need to be privy to um, so that you can make sure that you know all your sessions are be able to run smooth if you got a troubleshoot you'll be able to handle any gear that you might have at your hands uh, to be able to use and in all reality the better you learn your software the better you learn your hardware the better you're going to be at using it uh, so make sure you definitely understand the basics of what you're using and, and also just the concept of what you're doing number two on the list is going to be master your dog like i said i've been working in pro tools exclusively for about four years now a lot of my training came here i trained here at d3 studios for like the past it's been almost three years now i wasn't really good with pro tools before that i kind of knew some things but i wasn't really running sessions in pro tools like that i was going back and forth between logic and pro tools and then uh, once i got into the studio it took me some time and it took me a lot of sessions but i really began to master it probably in 2022 at some point i ended up just spending a lot of time recording people that i knew and i I just figured out you know, how to mix in there. What, what are these plugins compared to what they were on that I was using previously, which was Logic, and um, how can I harness them? And everybody, you know, they kind of go their own way. You got Cubase Studio One, some people recording in FL now. Like, it's so many different things that you can do. Um, but at the end of the day, the better that you understand it, the better that you can navigate your way around it, the quicker that you can work in it with like key commands and stuff 
the better you're gonna be in your dog i will say pro tools is pretty smooth it's my favorite now obviously because i use it exclusively and it's in every studio that you're gonna go to you gotta know pro tools if you don't know pro tools you're gonna be out of luck at some point when you working in a, a major studio or, or a professional studio whatever you want to call it but yeah you definitely want to make sure you know your way around no key commands, understand how to import, export, uh, understand what processing looks like, how to change it, understand how to pull up clip lists. It's so many different things, automation, so many different things that you have to learn in these DAWs to make sure that things flow smoothly. And once you do, you'll be able to run sessions simply and easily. Number three on the list practice critical listening. You got to develop an ear for what a good sound is and i am uh seasoned enough to say good sounds don't all sound the same you gotta like really get out here and study music it don't necessarily have to be like you know how to write and all that but look at some artists stevie wonder uh jimmy hendrix go look at the beatles um go listen to some bluegrass and you know you might look at me and be like bro you crazy but let's be real, the more you can intake in music, especially that it has like positive frequencies, the better you're gonna become as a well-rounded musician and engineer. I think it's very important that um, you take in different sounds and understand what it means to have a good sound and a bad sound. And once you understand what a good sound is, you can start to compare those to some of your mixes. What is, you know, their low end sound like? Maybe if you mainly, uh, you know, service trap artists, you could pull up, uh, you know, Savage or 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 Amigos or or Gunna or or Thug or something. Shout out All Atlanta. You seen that was All Atlanta? You did. Um, you could pull up some of their tracks and just like, you know, have a comparison to be able to see like what your levels look like. Obviously it's not gonna be the exact same because they compressed on D DSPs, but you can you know, truly understand once you get around good sounds and intake them, what it means to be able to produce good sounds and how you can shape your sound after it becomes good so that it can go to the next level. Number four on the list, and this is a big one. I'll be having to remind myself of this a lot. It's just to have fun, man, you know? A lot of times it can, you know, become stale to be an engineer. You taking clients a lot. It can be repetitious. Uh, you might be doing a lot of the same types of, you know, be your template might look the same. It, it may just be repetitive for you or uh, you may be dealing with some bad people. Whatever it is, I feel like if you really, really love this shit, you really got to lock in when those days come and, and just press through it you know what i mean this is your job this can be you people can make a lot of bread doing this especially if they love it. you're gonna have to go through some hard times yeah but that's what the love is for help you to get your mind right and say you know what i'm gonna just pull my pants up and handle this business obviously that ain't that ain't fun but at the same time since you're doing something you love you can have fun experiment from time to time in sessions and see what you can do to really make that client as happy as possible be a customer service agent not just an engineer yeah just continue to have fun might be some rough patches where clientele is a little slow or um, you may have to deal with some clients that you don't like at times uh, but you can always get rid of them <laughs> but for real though you know keep your head up make sure you have a fun experiment do whatever you need to to just you know inject a little bit of life into the process as you continue to move forward and like I said, just experiment, try different things in your mixes um, and in your tracking sessions to see if you can like be faster and be more um, efficient with your time. And finally, number five on the list, if you waited to this point in the video, I appreciate you, I appreciate you, I appreciate you. Let me go ahead and get y'all to drop down and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, the likes, the notification bell so y'all don't miss a video. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Number five, and Lord Jesus, probably the first lesson you should learn when you are on a doll. Save your work consistently. Don't just wait until everything is done to try to save something. And all of my FL producers, they know about this. Cause at any point in time, you might pull up a plug-in and 
your shit just crashed and now everything you did that you didn't save up until that point is gone. gone now pro tools one thing i love about it it does you know tend to save and have backups throughout sessions but you can't necessarily depend on that if the last backup was five minutes ago and your artist just laid a whole verse and now it's all gone i'm pretty sure it updates more frequently than that but you get the point of my example like you got to be on top of it as an engineer because i mean you never know man the power might go out or you know it could be an act of god and you just would be screwed the last thing you want like i said is for the person that you're working with to just drop this five verse and then it just shuts down and you have to rely on a backup copy from pro tools because it does back it up but maybe it was five minutes ago who knows so now you know you don't want to put yourself in those type of pressure situations i definitely would say you know command s that's what it is on pro tools command s command s command s just every two two or three minutes that way it's like it ain't it ain't gonna be critical if something happening and you just you know it just ruined the whole session and the vibe but that was our first five milkman solutions for all the upcoming intermediate and expert level producers out there like i said this series is all about facts to help y'all out i am blessed beyond measure to be able to be in this stupendous studio in one of the best cities for music in the world which is atlanta georgia i look forward to continuing to put out these videos to try to help out everybody if you have any ideas or thoughts to be able to help the channel improve feel free to drop down in the comment section and i will go ahead and respond to those for you guys and take it into consideration um but until then you know we up man it's gonna be a lot of change to the channel we continue to grow the brand uh if you would like to work with me i will have a link to my website down in the description i'll try to put one somewhere up here in the video so yeah guys until next time y'all go ahead and be safe it's your boy milk man I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And we out of here. Peace.